guys, welcome back to another misplaced garage video. We're back in the garage working on the uh, Cobra again, the old 94. And after I made the last video about deleting the AC pump, I ran into an issue with the AC pump delete fully started to destroy my belt. And so one of these ribs is starting to fall off, which is really not good. So I've decided to take it upon myself just to get rid of that the uh, delete pulley. I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, for legal reasons, I'm gonna call it the second AC pump. Obviously, you guys probably know what that is. <laughs> it runs all the way back into the back of the heads and whatnot, and so I'm gonna get rid of that, plug the back of the heads, get rid of that, and then run a shorter belt, and it should be a lot lighter. So we gotta start out by getting rid of the serpentine belt that's on there. Oh. You can clearly see it on that side. Yeah. She just started splitting away. And then it opened up. That sucked. I don't know about you guys, but I hate getting on the ground underneath cars. I mean, cardboard is literally the only thing that can make it bearable. Looking at this, looks like there's only like two bolts. This whole thing off. One and two. One front facing one and one rear facing one. Looks like I have to box in a bunch on this. Be back with the box. Is it going to be metric or standard? Standard, maybe. Let's see how this goes. There we go. So I learned that to get that top bolt off, you gotta take off these, the front pulley. There it is. Well. Oh. That was a nice set. All right, well, I just grabbed a, a hammer and a piece of wood and just lightly tapped it until it fell right out. And now it's out of there and there's a whole lot more room right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna start removing stuff. I sprayed all the bolts with WD-40 especially those ones on the back of the heads. And then started taking stuff off like this. That's gone. Just gonna keep working my way through it. Day on where I'm at. It's been about 30 minutes and I've gotten one bolt out. Those little things back there are extremely hard to get to. That little tiny metal piece back there. Boy was that difficult. I tried going under the car and using like a three foot extension. That didn't work so I just ended up 
giving all my might on a small little wrench back there and eventually it broke away. Here comes another piece to the puzzle. Finally got that other bolt out of there. Ooh, will I be able to get this out? Who knows? Well, might be harder than it looks. <laughs> All right, so I freed it from the up hand, upper hand side. Now I'm gonna see if I can get it out of the box. What's gonna happen? Now you guys can probably see why I want to eliminate a bunch of stuff because everything is. So jam packed in this car, it's awful. All right, I'm messing around with this tubing long enough. I'm just gonna chop off like a foot of it because it is not coming out of there. I think it should just break off. Ow. There we go. Now, you guys are only gonna see like 10 minutes of this or 30 seconds of it. But, this took me so long. Finally. <laughs> After a while of trying to finagle this thing out of there, I finally got it out. The only thing that was holding it back is this on the end of it. So I just decided to unscrew it. Sprayed it with WD-40 first and that helped out a lot. And then, boom, came right off. No problem. Now it's time to plug the holes in the back of the heads. So I went out on a limb here and trusted what the internet said. And so I came back with this bolt, a 5 8 by 11 threads per inch. And I got a washer too. And an inch long is the shortest one that I could find. So I'm gonna have to see if I run into any depth issues. If so, I'll throw that on or I'll cut off some of the bolt. Little update on how it's going. So there is plenty of room in the cylinder head for the bolt to go in, but since it's an older motor, it's caked with like old carbon buildup and whatever, and so the threads are literally just caked in it. So you have to thread the bolt in, and then it will eventually stop, undo it, clean it off, thread it in again. Basically how a tap works. If it's not having luck trying to thread the bolt in any farther, it would just stop. So I picked up this uh, tap, 5 8 by 11 NC, so I'm going to thread this through, see if I can get rid of all the carbon in those holes, and see if I can get this threaded in most of the way. Well, it makes more sense why I wasn't able to uh, get the bolt to thread any farther in. This is aftermath of tapping it. There's so much carbon buildup in there. Man, I'm glad I'm doing this and didn't just try to force the bolt in. Got the threads all cleaned up and now I can just thread the bolt in there with ease. And if you're wondering and if you want to do this, a one inch bolt will work and it won't run into any issues once it's in the head. If you guys like the video, consider liking and subscribing and keeping up with what I got going on. If you guys like the video, let me know if you like Cobra content or if you like motorcycle content or whatever it is. Just let me know and I'll keep making the videos for you. Stay tuned for next one.